Hello, welcome to lesson 38 in our Free Code Camps HTML and CSS section. There's a continuation of last lesson where we started learning about IDs. This one is titled Use an ID attribute to style an element. So one cool thing about ID attributes is that like classes, you can style them using CSS. Here's an example of how you can take your element with the ID attribute of cat photo element and give it the background color of green in your style element. So then here they show us uh, if this is inside our style element then this would be how we select the ID element. So instead of a period they use a hash symbol and this is the way of differentiating between classes and IDs so in our style element, instead of doing dot cat photo element, we would do hashtag cat photo element, and that would select uh, down here in our code wherever we put the ID, which I believe was in our form. Here they took it out, I guess. Maybe they're gonna have us put it in somewhere. So it says note that inside your style element. You always reference classes by putting a period in front of their names. You always reference IDs by putting a hash symbol in front of their names. So try giving your form, which now has the ID attribute of cat photo form, a green background. Oh yeah, it's right here. So they put it second. So I guess you can put it first or second. It doesn't really matter where you put it. So our form has an ID of cat photo form. Now they want us to give it a green background so if we come up up here where our style is this was the last style we had to put in here this class silver background so under it we would just uh, use our selector which is the hash symbol and then put the name of the ID which is cat photo form and then we want to apply this code to it. They want us to give it a green background. So I believe that is done with background color, I want to say. Oh yeah, try it on. Try it here. Background color. So background color colon. And we want it green. So, as you can see now, our form down here is now color green and everything within the form. So that was applied to everything. Let's make sure this is all right. Give your form element the ID of cat photo form, which is already done for us. Your form element should have the background color of green, and that's what we did up here in our style. We used our selector to select cat photo form ID, and we apply background color of green to any element with the ID of cat photo form. So that should satisfy this challenge. Pass with flying colors.